something that's important when we're talking about how to get things done and how to get things done better and work better with people is to be real about the population we're working with, the industry, the context, the real situations. My name is Alan Fire. I'm a, a consultant, uh, a trainer, a speaker, a facilitator. I own my own business called Group Dynamic. My name is Dave Melliker. I'm uh, with Knutson Construction out of Iowa City and I've been with Knutson for about 36 years now. Been in the industry probably over 40. Being a leader is not necessarily just telling people what to do, but, but how to do it, when to do it, why to do it, uh, having a plan in place that's, that's uh, you know, going to take the job to wherever you want it to go to. My name is Joe Harris. Um, I work for the White's Company in Des Moines, Iowa, and uh, I've been in the industry for 24 years. So leadership is important. Uh, everyone takes their cue from the leader. Everyone looks to that leader as the one who sets the tone for the project. If that person uh, is professional and knows what to do to, to, to solve an issue, uh, the, the rest of the project seems to follow suit. My name is Jared Engler. I work for Bush Construction. I'm the Vice President of Construction. I've been in the business for around 20 years. I feel that leadership training for field employees is really the key to their success. Uh, we task our field employees with so many responsibilities. Uh, safety, quality control, uh, schedule management, cost management. There's so many things that they're responsible for on a daily basis. Having this overall leadership training, I think will be key to their success to be able to manage the overall project. This program is gonna be a value to participants if they wanna understand leadership, if they wanna understand how to grow into a leadership role even if they weren't planning on it. It's going to be valuable to people who wanna learn how to, to communicate, um, with people who report to them and people they work alongside in order to be effective. It's going to help people balance their time more. It's going to help people understand what makes people different depending on personality style or generation or what things are universal regardless of those things. Uh, my name is Wayne Werzer. I've been with Knudsen for over 40 years. Everybody starts out at ground zero and, and uh, the more that they can learn along the way by someone who's been through it before, Maybe it can help them eliminate some of the mistakes that, that I've made in my career. Participants in this program can expect some, some solid takeaways. Um, there will be communication tips and tricks, phrases to use, phrases to avoid, ways to engage without sounding bossy, ways to stay the boss while still building a relationship. I would honestly say communication is the number one uh, trait that a field leader needs to have to be successful. Although the key to any project would be communication. Communication is, is probably the, one of the biggest things. Communication is invaluable. I mean, how else do you get people to do what you want them to do unless you can communicate to them what you want? If a, if a field leader is not a good communicator, I don't think they're going to be successful in this role. If you can't communicate, it's really um, it's chaos. You know, being out here by yourself is not a good thing. So you, you have to have communication to get other people to come with you. Other, otherwise, you're, you're just sunk. Characteristics I would look for are you have to care. That's the biggest thing. You really have to care about what you do. I think the characteristics we look for generally is is being able to have a good temperament, a level head. Um, this business can be somewhat contentious sometimes. Uh, there's a lot of issues that can come up on a, on a job site. You have to care enough to, to go that extra step or, or, or check that extra thing that, that you're going to do. Um, and, and you know some, some dedication. You know, you, you, there's a lot of people that want to be in charge of stuff, but they don't realize what being in charge means until you're actually there. And you know, you take that responsibility, and you take those those things, and and you got to run with them. Really, someone who has the willingness to uh, to to promote themselves and be better. They want to they want to do more. You have to want this job. You can't just say, "Geez, I think I'll be a superintendent someday," or "I think I'll do this." You have to want it. This is a risky business, let's be honest. Um, so in, in terms of managing that risk, documentation is huge on a project, um, wh whether it's email documentation or correspondence with owners and architects. So from a field perspective, having those field leaders understanding the importance of that documentation. Managing risk, managing safety, managing those kind of things is, is what you do out here. Because it, there's nothing, probably no industry around us that has more risk than, than construction. And, you know, seeing the path and seeing the uh, things that need to be done and making sure that you do, you do go down the right path and you do them well 
and, and you do them correctly so that that risk doesn't come back and bite you 10 years from now is a, is, is a big thing. Well, the risks that, uh, that we find ourselves in construction having to deal with are you know, things from water intrusion to the correct way to make sure that concrete has been poured or cured. So um, having a form that understands the, the, uh, p the potential issues and risks that are involved um, really can help make sure we have a quality product at the end of the project. A big struggle I've seen in the past when, when people make the transition from craft worker to field manager is the overall uh, time management. Big thing is, especially if you come out of a, of a company and you've worked with a bunch of guys for, for five years or so, and then you, you go up to the next level and they stay at that level. It's, it's, it's tough to, to you know, say, okay, I'm, now I'm your boss. I, yesterday I was your friend and your coworker, now I'm your boss. Just because they're good uh, at that trade or that craft doesn't mean that they're necessarily good at organizing people uh, to do that work in an efficient way. Uh, they might know how to do it really well themselves, but they might not be good leaders or teachers or mentors towards others to make sure that it's done the way it needs to be done. Pretty important to have an outside expert who does nothing but think about leadership, communication, and teamwork, and then also pair that with someone who does nothing but lead in the field. This partnership has got me excited. I, I wish everybody did things like this. Uh, so a lot of this is they have to understand that Leadership is something that, uh, that isn't innate in most people. It's something you need to learn. And uh, those people who, who struggle is, is the people that don't get the training uh, from being a really good craftsman to being a really good foreman, and then from there, moving on to be a, a, a good superintendent. I've been through many of MBI's training programs in the past, MBI in the future, and their uh, leadership academies. And, uh, and I'm really excited that they're gonna offer a, a, a training program more towards the field side of things. We're excited to put some of our employees through this as well. I think they'll really benefit from this training program.